journaling has changed my trading life. Yes. Writing has changed the world. So, yes, it has the power to change your trading life. It's changed the world, writing. Journaling. Keeping notes. History. How do you know where you're where you're going if you don't know where you've come from? How do you don't know what to become if you don't know who you are? All of that starts from, from writing. And what's interesting is that it just doesn't work when you try to do it in your head. You, you lose the magic. It doesn't happen that way. And I've always believed that it's because of the I believe it's something metaphysical. I believe that there are different stages of reality. There's the material reality and there's an ethereal reality. So the ethereal reality, let's call that mind for now, mind, right? So when you have something in your mind, it exists. It's real. But it doesn't have material reality. So when you take something from your mind and you write it on a piece of paper, you have moved it from one reality to another reality. And this reality is physical. It now, you write it down, it now looks at you. You no, you no longer look at you're not just looking at it. It starts to look at you. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can see it. You've, mo you've pulled it from the ethereal world into the physical world. But if you keep it here, it's easily changed. If you pull it here, it's less easily changed. I've already told you the story. Scott, old trader at the desk. I used to watch him out of the corner of my eye. He was the oldest trader on the desk. Good, really good. And I would watch him out of the corner of my eye. He barely spoke. And I would always see him place a trade and then write something down in a book and then close the book and put it in his briefcase at his feet. And I used to always wonder, what is this guy doing every time he places a trade? What is he writing down? And then he puts it away as if it's not important after that. And so one day I mustered up enough courage. This was during my first six months because I wasn't really supposed to talk to anyone. And I, I said, this is Scott, I hope you don't mind me asking. We were at the coffee counter. And I said, I hope you don't mind me asking. I just noticed that every time you place a trade, you write something down. I was wondering what that is. And he was like, oh, oh you watch me do that? And I'm like, yes. And he says, oh, that's very simple, Oliver. Um, I'm just writing down my stop. He said, you're writing down where you're going to exit the trade if, if it doesn't work? He says, yeah. I said, but don't you know that? You have to write it down? He's like, yeah, I know it, Oliver, but when I write it down, it's permanent for me. If I keep it in my mind, I can easily change it. And I never forgot that lesson. From that day, I started writing everything down. Where I'm going to get out. Where I'm going to take profits. Under what circumstances I'm going to add. When and where I'm going to move my stop. And that became the beginning of me writing out my trading plan. I used to write everything out after that. Thank you, Scott. Moving it from the mental world to the physical world makes it in the physical realm more real. Guys, do I bore you with these stories? There's the apple. See that? Beautiful, the classic right in your face. Boom. Pull back. Stay in the top 50. Boom. New high. And you know the formula. Take profits. If you want to leave some in, go with that eight. 
and you win some, you lose some, but you need to get to 20. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are on board, by the way. Did I review my trading plan every morning before the trade? Um, yes. And not only that, I would go through it on the train to work. So, like, on the train, I would practice. Because my train ride was about 45 minutes, right? So I would practice different plays in my mind. Okay. Elephant bar surging off the 200 period moving average. Buy into the second half of the buy into the second half of the bar. Play stop under the low of the bar. Add on the first RBI. Take profits on three pushes. Raise stop to break even. I used to just do that. Okay, bull 180 in position one above a narrow fat four. Like I'm giving you an example, and I would just practice these scenarios. Then I do this, then I do that, so that when they happened in real life, it was automatic for me. I played that scenario over in my mind so many different times. This led me to always wanting to create somewhat of a game like that's how the, the the trading poker cards came into existence like you can take those cards and create scenarios anytime you want okay here's bull 180 okay what's next okay uh confirmation entry what's next uh stop get the card that's next the card that's next is a is stop an event stop uh what's next um and just lay the cards down that's what i used to do in my mind on the train and sometimes i would just jot it down write a play out completely in my mind it made the 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 method it made the steps it made the system it made the formula automatic 